Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be bringing you guys along with me for the next few days, little week in my life kind of video. So today's Tuesday, we're starting it on a Tuesday. I am about to head to F45. I thought I would show you guys my outfit real quick before I head out. So I'm just wearing these shorts from Buff Bunny Collection. Super cute. Workout sneakers are Reebok Nano X's. And then I'm wearing this workout tank top shirt that is from Aritzia. And then over top, I just have my Aritzia zip up because I just get a little chilly. A little chilly on my walk because it's super windy and I don't like that. Also, my hair is braided back because I'm trying to get my hair to look cute even post-workout. So I always go with the French braids if that's the case because I can take it out and my hair just looks nice and wavy. But anyways, let us hit the road at 45 to kind of start this week because I didn't work out yesterday. <laughs> So today is the start. Let's go. I don't need no one to say you're complicated. Cause I knew from the start this might be overrated. workout is complete that one was really good I was super sweaty <laughs> even though it's like a weight training day it's total full body plus abs it's called Maximus and it's like one of my favorite workouts that they do really thoroughly enjoyed that now I need to get home before they turn off my water because <laughs> I need to have a shower but apparently they're turning off my water for like most of the day today so I need to get home hey, ASAP I just did a quick little grocery run and here's everything that I picked up. So I got some nectarines, cherry tomatoes, blueberries, bagels, some sourdough bread, bananas, cheese, sour cream, and tzatziki just for my dinners this week. I'm thinking I'm gonna make chicken tacos tonight because I still have those leftover taco shells. So I think I'm just gonna do that. So anyways, I have ground pork and chicken, some chips, some easy rice packets to make like bowls for lunch. I always get this protein pasta. It's like a mix of red lentils and whole wheat pasta. So you're getting some more protein when you have this one. The seasoning for my tacos. And then I just got a lemon and broccoli. That was it, it came to like $100, which is kind of ridiculous, but what can you do? <laughs> and yeah, this is everything that I picked. All right, guys, it is much later now. I'm about to head out to a little pop-in event with Ardell Lashes. I'm eating my friend Alicia there, so I thought I'd show you guys my outfit. So I'm wearing this dress, it's from Revolve. I believe it's either Tula Rosa or Majorelle, I can't remember, but I will link it down below. It's one of my favorite summer dresses. It's so windy out today, so a maxi dress is the go-to because obviously you don't have to worry about the wind because it's super long. And then I'm just wearing these sandals that are from Tori Birch and my nice purse and that's my look. Also, this dress has pockets, which is just a bonus. I curled my hair because it was looking crazy and this will just last me the next two days. I actually have a really exciting event tomorrow with Laura Mercier. It's like a dinner event and it's a cocktail event, which is why these dresses are here because I'm like deciding which one I'm going to wear. Let's walk over, go to the little pop-in, come back, and then I want to have just like a cozy night routine. I want to go to bed early tonight, hoping to be in bed literally by 9 p.m. So. Good morning everybody it is the next day i am about to go for my run today so i'm just gonna do i think 5k i don't feel like doing anything crazy i think i'm just gonna do a slow five kilometer run <laughs> it's hot out too so i don't want to push myself too hard and like uh just overheat so yeah it's just gonna be like a little slow 5k this is my outfit i wasn't gonna wear a hat but you know what it's super sunny and i don't have like 
running sunglasses. Like I want to get these sunglasses. I think they're called like Gooder or something, but they're supposed to be sunglasses that don't bounce or slide off your face when you're running. Um, Cause obviously you don't want that, not ideal. <laughs> so for now I'm just wearing this hat. This is actually Aiden's, but it's made of like that athletic material. So I'm hoping it'll be a little bit more breathable than other hats that I have. Then for my set, I'm just wearing this one from Lululemon in the shade lip gloss. So this is the energy long line bra. And then these are the, oh my God, what are these shorts called? <laughs> I can't even remember, but I will link them down below. And they're in this like really bright color. This is the lip gloss color which I love. And yeah, we're gonna go for a run, 5K. Very excited. Hoping to get it under 32 minutes, but maybe not. Might be a little bit longer because I do kind of want to run slow. I might listen to a podcast while I run to like force myself to run even slower. So we'll see. But I will update y'all when I get back from my run. And it is much later <laughs> than I last talked to you, but my run went really good. I'll have my stats right here for you guys. I just did 5K and I got it under 31 minutes, which I'm really happy about. I would like to get an under 30 minute 5K, but obviously that is something that'll be a work in progress because we're still learning to run. Well, not learning to run, but practicing running to get better at running. <laughs> I'm definitely not 100% good at it yet. I will admit that, but it felt good today. I felt like I could keep a good pace. I didn't have any cramps, so I was just feeling overall really good. Since then, I just had lunch and I've been just kind of like cleaning and organizing myself. I feel like my apartment's just always a mess and it's always overwhelming me. I also have this giant, and I mean giant. No, like I mean giant pile of laundry to put away. So I need to do that. I was gonna make a tea and drink my tea and put all this away. I also had to rewash a load of laundry because I forgot to put it in the dryer. So it was just sitting in the wash, which is like the worst. Like, uh-uh, you have to rewash it. It's just, it's done at that point if it's been sitting there for that long. So <sighs> anyways, I'm gonna make a tea and I'm going to put away this giant giant load of laundry. I also want to say that my Brooks Adrenaline GT22 or whatever they are, so good. So great if you have like flat feet, like my runs feel amazing. I don't get any ankle pain anymore. We're feeling good, pain free, okay? Shoes make a difference. I still want to, well, I need to go to, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Black Toe Running at some point this week. I want to get a new running hat one that's like lightweight, breathable for my head. And I also wanna get some running sunglasses. I would do that today, but I feel like I just won't have enough time. I don't wanna be rushed because I need to get ready and go to my event that's up in Yorkville. I need to be there for 6 p.m. So I might need to call my Uber at like 5 p.m. because it's just gonna be, the timing is just terrible to try and get to Yorkville. So I wanna make sure I'm giving myself enough time that I won't be late. Cause they do, they literally put in the invite about being on time. So. When people tell me to be on time, I'm like, I will be there on time. I will be there. Also, I feel like I love the quality of this little camera. I just uploaded my video that I filmed in Grand Bend and the quality was so nice. And I was like, I love this. <laughs> this camera is my new best friend and it's so light and little and cute. I love it. Got all ready for the Laura Mercier event. I'm wearing my dress. I love this one. I'm glad that I saved this for this event because it is like a cocktail style event and I feel like this is perfect and I haven't worn this in so long. The last time I wore this dress was in Jamaica in 2019. So it's so pretty. It's from, I'll put it on the screen. I cannot remember where this is from but it's super cute. I just have like little black heels on with it. And it's just is like a really flattering dress. I love that it's like a little bit longer. I love all like the different patterns on it. I just think it's really pretty and makes me feel good. So I'm excited to head out pretty soon. I'm not gonna leave just yet. I was thinking about when to call, like, call my Uber, but it says right now if I called, I would literally get there at 5.15. I need to be there at six. So we're definitely gonna wait a bit. I've been watching Idol on <laughs> Crave and um, I don't really know what I feel about it. I don't know what I'm watching. I'm like, this is like a lot 
a lot of, uh, well, if you've watched it, you know. Okay, there is a lot going on all the time and I'm like, what's the plot? Where, what's the plot? I feel like I'm reading a book that is all smut and no plot, but in a TV show form. And I'm like, I don't really know what I'm watching right now. Also the weekend creeps me the hell out now. <laughs> he gives the creepiest vibes in this show. I will update you guys when we are on the way to the event. I'm so excited. We're going to like a nice restaurant. So it should be really good. Just nice and little. <laughs> Made it to the event. We got our mocktail going. We have pictures. <laughs> First PR event in Canada, and it's one of our biggest that we've ever had. So congratulations for becoming and being Ooh. part of that. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Next day, slept like a rock last night. <laughs> Literally dead to the world. That was a late dinner, but honestly, it was so nice. It was so nice meeting new people and just like chatting with people. And the whole thing was just really, really nice. It was a beautiful event. The food was like 10 out of 10, probably best, some of the best food I've ever had. Like that steak was insane insane <laughs> and i'm not even a big steak person okay and i even was like holy crap this is good this is good so yeah that was a good time i'm gonna be heading to f45 right now it's deuces today which means you can either do lower body or upper body and i am undecided on which one i want to do i'm thinking lower body but i don't know i don't know also tomorrow i'm supposed to go for another run but it's supposed to rain all day so i'm like do i go running in the rain maybe i've never done that I don't know if I would enjoy that or not. <laughs> but the plan for today is that we're gonna go to F45, come back, get ready and stuff, and my I wanna do some editing on this video. But then also, I want to go to Black Toe Running and see if they have any nice running hats and running sunglasses, because I'm gonna look for those and see what they have. And yeah, that's kind of the game plan for today. Maybe we'll go get like an afternoon coffee or something at a cafe. <laughs> We'll just go exploring alone. Me, myself, and I on, this, on the Toronto streets exploring. And I'm excited. This is my um, gym outfit for today. Ooh. I'm wearing a sweater because I'm always cold. It's not even cold out, but I just am chilly when I walk to the gym. So I'm wearing a line shorts and they're in this pretty like cool pattern. I don't really know what you would say that is. Nike sports bra. I like this one. And then this sweater is from MPG. Lord. It's just comfy and cozy. But yeah, that's the vibe. And we're gonna go get our booty kicked by F45. workout is done I was actually able to do upper and lower body because the class wasn't very busy which was very nice because I did not feel like just doing upper or lower so I'm glad I got to do full body we did a two-minute plank at the end for Jason's birthday he's like the manager of the F45 that I go to on King West oh my god this tree is all berries and it's all over the ground but anyways, it was really hard, but really good. I'm feeling tired. <sighs> I'm ready to like take a shower and get myself situated for the day. And then we're gonna have to 
go and get our running sunglasses. I'm so excited. A part of me feels like I should get like a really obnoxious color. <laughs> Just be like really obnoxious. I don't think that I want like the really sporty looking ones. Like they have ones that literally look like sunglasses, but they're like non-slip and non-bounce. So I think I'd rather get those, but we'll see. Okay, we're gonna walk over now to the running store. I think I'm just gonna get sunglasses, just running sunglasses, and that's it. Cause I have a bunch of hats and I just, I'm gonna wait for a hat. Also, I just can't try them on right now because my hair is slicked back like this. So, I mean, maybe I'll leave with a hat, who knows? But the goal is just to get running sunglasses so I won't be Squint McGee on my own runs anymore. <laughs> the sun, I'm literally like, and I'm gonna get the worst wrinkles ever. And I'm not down for that, so. We're gonna go, Black Toe Running in Toronto. It's the closest running store to me, so I'm gonna walk on over there and look at the sunglasses. Let's go. All right, guys, we got the goods. I actually ended up getting a hat too because they had one that was really cute and it kind of matched my running shoes. <laughs> so I was, I was sold. I influenced myself into getting it. But now I have all the sun protection for running this summer, so <laughs> we're feeling good. And that store was so cute. I'll definitely go back there to get more running gear down the line. I didn't vlog in there because it was just really small. <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to just be pulling out my camera and filming in there. It just made me feel a little bit awkward, but not that filming on the street isn't awkward. <laughs> All right, guys, I am back. I'll show you guys what I got. So I was going to get the Gooder brand, but they told me that this brand is Canadian. So I was like, you know what? support Canada out here. So this is a brand Mars Quest, Mars Quest, empower your adventure. And I tried on a pink pair, but I ended up just going with a black pair because I just felt like they would go with more. I don't know if I want pink sunglasses. I don't know. So I went with the black pair. They're just like a classic black running sunglasses. They weigh like nothing. These like literally they weigh nothing. They're totally polarized too. Like I can't even see the screen when I have these on, but they're really cool. So I'm really happy with these ones. Just some black sunnies. They're not supposed to bounce, which they don't, and they're not supposed to slide off your face. So that's a nice little snug fit. We're not gonna put them on our head because we don't want them to get stretched out because I need these to actually stay on my face. And then last up, just this, this hat because I liked the colors in it. I felt like it would go with my <laughs> shoes that I have because they have like the purple and the pink. Obviously I can't put this on properly right now because my hair is like really high up in my head but I feel like this will look really cute and of course it's very like sweat wicking which will be a nice addition and some sun protection for my head and I like that this one is just like a sweat wicking material because I find with my other hats man my head gets so sweaty when I run in them like it's it's not a good time. This is more breathable. It's actually made for running. So it's also very like foldable, which is nice. Like I've never seen a hat like this. I love the colors in it, the pink, the purple, everything. So freaking cute. So that is everything that I picked up from Black Toe Running. I actually tried on the hat so you guys can see and I love it. This is like my new favorite baseball cap. Like this is so cute. I love that it's, I think it's like a five panel hat or whatever you call it. So it comes really down like low on your head but it's very comfortable. Feels like very lightweight because this is obviously a super thin material and everything is like super flexible. There's nothing like hard on your head. So this is really nice. And the colors of it are so fun. I love it. And look at that. Look at that shading right where I need it. <laughs> I'm gonna be heading out for my run super soon. It's actually supposed to like rain all day today, but it's not forecasted to start until 11. So we're gonna try and go for our run in 30 minutes. I had my banana. I'm just trying to get some water and electrolytes in so that I'm not dehydrated to prevent cramps, which means I'm gonna add some electrolytes in right now. I really like this genuine health one. Hydration, I got this in like a PR 
a package from them and it was i've been having it and it tastes really good this one is the like raspberry lemonade flavor so i just mix some of this in with some water in my water bottle i do it quite often and it tastes good and it rehydrates you especially if you're doing any sort of like exercise where you're sweating you don't just lose water when you sweat you also lose a lot of salts so you want to be getting those back into you so shake it on up i'm gonna drink some of this we're gonna like i said we're gonna leave in 30 minutes i think i want to go for an easy longer run today so i'm gonna run quite slow i want to stick to like a 6 30 kilometer pace so slow because i usually like to do around a six kilometer pace but we're gonna do like 640 630 much slower and i'm gonna try and run seven kilometers i've never ran seven kilometers in my life but we're gonna try just going nice and slow i need to find a good long podcast to listen to i find podcasts are easier for helping me run slowly because they're just you know you're listening to someone talk instead of having music that is pumping you up also, this is my new hat that I showed you guys. I love it. And I'm wearing, this is my outfit. Let me show you guys my, my running outfit. This tank top is from TNA. It's like a sport one. It's got a built-in bra, super comfy. These shorts are Nike. They're really old. I've actually had these for a while. I found them when I was at my parents' house. And I was like, I forgot that I had these. They have like built-in spandex shorts underneath. They're super cute and like flowy. I got my neon yellow socks on, also from TNA. And I think I have two pairs of running. Oh, don't mind this, by the way, I picked a pimple. But it needed to go. So I don't even have any regrets because that pimple probably would have lingered for months if I didn't do what I did. So, you know what? No regrets. <laughs> this is my easy one. I think I'm gonna wear my new balances today. Let me show you. Because these ones are so so cushioned these are like my most cushioned shoes they literally feel like you're running on a cloud so if i'm doing like a longer run where i feel like i need that kind of cushioning and these are great they're the new balances fresh foam v4 i think or something sneakers in gray and i will see y'all when i get back and i'll show you my stats all my stats hopefully we just do it nice and slow i don't know how long seven kilometers will take me maybe like well, maybe an hour. I don't know. I honestly have no idea. I've never ran that long, so we will find out. All right, guys, I am four and a half kilometers into my run. I'm doing my comfy pace, which is 6.30. Like, this is the pace that I feel like I could just go forever. I feel like my heart rate's at a good spot. Obviously, I'm able to talk, which proves that I'm at a good, easy pace. But yeah. I did a hill back there, which was great going down, but not so great going up. Also, I apologize, this is so shaky. I do not have the new iPhone <laughs> that stabilizes when you're doing activities. So this is probably brutal, but I said I would update you guys and I'll speak when I'm at seven kilometers. I'm thinking about doing eight, but I feel like I could just keep going. So I kind of want to just see if I can do it. So we'll try. Guys, right, so I'm at seven kilometers, and I feel like I'm just going to push it to eight. In order to push it. I don't feel like I should lose more breath, but because I've never run this far in my life. So we're going to do eight and call it a day. I am back from my run. I was so, I'm so proud of myself. I feel like I hit my first ever like runner's high. Like I really felt like I could have run forever. Like I was just like, I could just keep going. I feel fine. I could just, my body felt fine. My legs, like they, I feel like I couldn't even feel my legs hitting the ground. I was like, I feel great. <laughs> Let's just keep going. It was really good. So I did 8K. I meant to do seven, but I felt so good. I was like, let's just do eight. I just like even numbers. <laughs> so did 8K and it felt really good. Now I feel like maybe next week I want to just see if I can just run a 10K. Why not? Maybe just try it out. See what happens. <laughs> if I'm feeling good, maybe just try it out. But it felt amazing. I am so proud of myself that I was able to do that. I've never run that far in my life. So I feel like that was just such, it's like an accomplishment and you get like a legit runner's high afterwards. And you're just like, wow, I did that. I ran eight kilometers and I used to think I couldn't run. So here we are. And I'm so proud of myself. Also, I love this hat. It was so comfy for my whole run. It like 
kept my face shaded. Loved it. Love, love, love. Now I desperately need a shower because I am ridiculously sweaty and that's where we're at right now. <laughs> I decided to air dry my hair today, which is why we are looking like this. Um, <laughs> Very questionable hair going on currently. I've just been working on editing this video though. I'm thinking I want to just try for the summer possibly switching up my upload schedule. So I think I'm going to do Sundays and Wednesdays. And Sundays are going to be like a weekly vlog video where I'm going to upload a video that's a weekly vlog. Whether that's four days of the week, five days of the week. But it'll be for the majority of the week and then on Wednesday there'll be a bonus video that's kind of less vlog style but still like kind of like maybe I'll do a routine video or maybe I'll do a what I eat in a day video, food video, tips video, something like that. I'm just feeling like I need to change so we're gonna try this out. This is my first weekly vlog that y'all will be watching and I'm just having fun doing the weeks. I feel like it is more fun for me making videos like this. Well, I need to put my bedding on my bed. I just washed it. I washed all my bedding. So I need to put that on the bed and I need to eat something for lunch. I just wanted to come on here to end off this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and you liked the weekly vlog format. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.